but it's called Robo. And so we're taking a look at the season two update. It's literally just released, you know, like very, very early. So I'm very excited. I haven't seen anything yet. And I'm just literally just gonna go into Warzone and we're gonna take a look. So let's just get straight into it. Okay, so as you can see, we're near the end of the plane and half the lobby hasn't jumped. So you can tell this is going to be a very hectic ship. So I wouldn't expect to live very long, but you know, we're just going to jump and we're going to have a look at what this is going to be like. But I think it's going to be uh, ridiculously hectic. That's kind of what I expected it very very hectic so uh, I didn't really expect to live very long and as you can see it's literally swarmed like ants and yeah so I'm gonna go back there after the gulag and I'm just gonna take a look again try and see if we can get anywhere near the ship and see what happens but yeah Okay, so there does appear to be some sort of a zombies event as you can see there's like a zombie counter i think like up here for you and zero out of 40 zombies maybe that's all on the ship so you can expect over the next two weeks when this event's going on it's going to be super super hectic on this ship so just be ready to sweat out if you're going here but yeah okay so the new things that i can see are basically we have three new weapons I can only see two of them. So we have the LC10, which is tier 31 in the Battle Pass. J-God said on Twitter with his rough, he's only been looking at it for a few hours, but he can tell you that it's about, it has a fire rate of about the Bullfrog, and a new AR, which is called the Farah 83, has apparently a very quick time to kill. So expect that to be in the loadouts video tomorrow, but I'm not quite sure. We need to see what happens as the new updates about these new guns come out throughout the day. The new sniper rifle, I cannot actually see it. I've only got the M82, LW3, Tundra, and the Pellington. So the new sniper rifle doesn't seem to be here yet, so maybe it will come in a few days, maybe at the end of the event. I'm not too sure. Then in our battle pass, as you can see here, we have the two new operators. We have Viper and Survivor, as well as a new watch, XP, and the rest of it. And of course, we have our outbreak event. So this is probably promoting the new Zombies map, which will be available in Cold War if you have it. But there's also a Zombies mode in Warzone. So as you can see from the new ship in the gameplay earlier in the video, it seems to be that when the first zone starts coming in, 40 zombies spawn, I assume, and then you have to kill them all. So this is pretty intense. And because of half of my solos lobby went there, you can assume it is going to be very, very intense. So be prepared to put up a good fight. But that seems to be the main things that are new. Okay, so from queuing into a game and having a look at the battle pass and that kind of stuff, the new things that I can see is that there's a ship that's crashed, and we've seen it for weeks with a thunderstorm, which has been very, very exciting, but now it's finally here. There's a zombies event, which you can kill zombies in, which I recommend you check out. And there's the resurgence mode, which is called Resurgence Extreme, so everyone keeps redeploying, which is going to be, you know, pretty intense, as it suggests in the name. You've got two new weapons, there should be a third, I cannot find it. So you have the new SMG, which is apparently like the Bullfrog. We have the new AR, which has a very fast time to kill according to J-God. More stats will come out throughout the day, and there'll be a new loadouts video tomorrow. But yeah, so as we can tell, something is gonna happen because this ship hasn't just crashed, and that's it. There's gonna be something happening with zombies, and I can tell you there might be something pretty exciting, and I'm looking forward to whatever it is. So if you've enjoyed this video and you found it helpful, then make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And if you're going to get the new Battle Pass, you're going to do this new Outbreak event, make sure you tell me down in the comments below. And also, if you're going to be using these new weapons, I'll be telling you what the best builds and what the best guns are tomorrow. So make sure you stay tuned for that if you haven't subscribed already. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.